Hi guys, I'm here today with the final week of the Stash to Treasure collab. And this week, the prompts are um, like old jewelry and beads and bling and stuff like that. Um, so I don't really have much jewelry or anything that I want to use. Oh, I don't have any at all because I don't use it. But I do have some bling that I got from the Dollar Tree that we can put on some pages or some pockets but what I really want to do is make a shaker card I've only made these one other time not exactly like I'm doing with this one but it was it was similar and we're gonna see how this goes um, I have this mustache project life card that I'm gonna use as the back of it and then I'm gonna cover it with this you'll see what I mean once I start making it. So I have this piece of plastic from, I don't know, probably stickers or something. So I'm going to cut it. Mostly two sides. I do want it a little bit bigger. Okay, and since this is a sheet, I have to cut the cut it from its back. Okay. So I have the card and this is going to go over it. And what I'm going to do is um tape the sides and stuff to the back. And then fill it with my different types of confettis and whatnot, sequins and stuff like that. Um, I have double-sided tape because it's much easier to do that way. So I am just going to start and hopefully this will work. If not, then you will not even see this part of the video because I will just start over. But I'm hoping it will be okay. So I have one piece of tape on there right now. And you want to get it as close to the edge as you can because you don't want any of your confetti to fall out. And there's number two. Number three. And then number four. Okay. Now since this one was the last piece that I put on, I'm going to do this one. I know it's kind of hard to see the acetate. Uh, maybe I can... Now you still really can't see it. But what I'm going to do is take off the top strip of tape. Make sure it's really stuck down. And it's so stuck down that it doesn't want to come up. There we go. All right, I finally got it. And I'm going to place this as best as I can with enough space around each side. Sorry if my head's in the way. I'm just trying to get this as close as I can. Okay, so there is the first piece. And now I'm gonna do the second side. Hopefully I can get this up. Okay. 
Now this part I'm going to cut a little bit so that way there's less bulk. Just cut a little corner out of it. And then just fold it over. And there's a tiny extra bit right there. So you have to be careful when you're cutting so that way you don't um, accidentally cut the corner. Oops, darn it. Okay, now let's get this third side up. Or down, I mean. Well, this is not coming off very well. There we go. And get that off of there. And I actually didn't put this tape close enough. So I'm just gonna cut a couple smaller ones and put them closer. should be better. I didn't think this tape would be this difficult for me, but of course it is. There we go, finally got it. And now I will pull this side over. Okay, so there's that. And now we just have the one left, but we have to fill up our shaker first with the confetti and whatever we wanna put inside. So let's just put some confetti and stuff in here. I just grabbed a bunch of different mixes from my confetti box, I guess. These are cute little animals. Adorable. Hopefully I can get some out without making a huge mess. I got these for when I was doing resin stuff because I liked making resin shakers as well, but I didn't really make that many when I ordered all this stuff, so I just have a bunch left now, but that's okay. I'll make shakers and whatnot with them. I have these, um, like, dot, I think those, these are two of the same, and these are butterflies, so let's put, I like this pink and black mix, so I'm just gonna empty that in there, the whole thing, because I do have two of them. And let's see how much we got. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's enough. Um, maybe a little bit more. I'll put one more in. How about... I like this blue and white mix as well. So we'll go with that one. And then we'll close it up. There we go. Okay, so now that all my stuff is in my shaker, it's time to close it up. Now this one will be a little bit tricky because the tape is all the way to the end. And, and of course, oh, is it sticking down? Okay, it is sticking down, good. And now, whoops, make sure all my confetti's in there, none of it's gonna come out. Now, 
just push that side down and then cut off the excess but don't cut it too close otherwise you will have a hole that you will have to repair and then same with this one down here let's cut it And if you do end up losing some confetti, um, then you can uh, washi tape your corners. But there's the shaker card. And to make the back look a little bit better, I am going to just glue another Project Life card to the back. So it'll kind of keep that plastic down as well. on here perfect and let's get some of this tape stuff out all right and now there's our cute little mustache shaker card and now I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way my desk space just keeps getting smaller and smaller, even though I keep cleaning it off. Okay, so let's find a pocket for this. Oh, maybe we'll put it right in the front pocket, so that way when you open up the journal, you have a fun, <coughs> excuse me, a fun little shaker to play with. Okay, so now let's find some pages for our bling. Um, I kind of like the thought of putting some on this envelope, but this is a really pretty paper. And I don't know if bling will make it look better or worse. So maybe I'll find something else. Oh yeah, I never cut the uh, washi tape off of these last week. So let's do that. I mean, not washi tape, but ribbon and, ribbon and stuff. So that way it looks cleaner. And this, and this one, and then that will be good. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now let's find a, oh, here we go. I could put some on here. Oh, maybe not. That page is a little heavy already. Okay. Put it on this. I'm only going to use one strip of this, so I'm going to cut it. And I need to cut it right here. Where are my scissors? And now I'm just going to cut it in half, so that way I only use one strip. Got these from the Dollar Tree. Perfect. And let's glue these down. So there's one string of bling and this blue construction paper needs something. How about 
I'm going to put this whole actual strip down. I just want to make sure that I cut it at a good length. So right here. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now we get into this second signature. Um, I think I'm gonna put a blue strand on this purple paper. So let's cut right here. And again, I'm gonna cut this down the middle. So that way I only get one strand of it. So really, you're getting double your money from these things if you do it this way. Of course, if you want to use two, there, that's, there's nothing wrong with that as well. But stretching it even further by just using one. And they're super easy to cut. don't really know what this material is, but it's not hard to cut at all. Put some glue dots on there and get it stuck down. Perfect. And then I have this multicolored one that I haven't even opened yet. So let's use that once I get it open. If I can find the beginning of it. I don't want to cut it, accidentally cut the, um, the bling, but I got it. One more, one more page. Uh, all right, this brown one. This brown definitely needs some color. Maybe I'll use both strands for this one. Yeah, I think I will. Because brown, I don't like brown. I don't know why I put this piece in here, but that's okay. This is just a random journal, and it's been super fun to make. This has been a really fun collab. I'm glad that they hosted it and allowed all of us to play along with them. I wonder if they're going to come up with something new for March, or maybe give us a break not that we have to participate. That's what open collab means. It is open for your participation if you would like. Okay, that's it. I think that is all I'm going to do. Or maybe I'll find somewhere to put these other two strands. I can put them on maybe a pocket or something. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Put a put a blue strand on this pocket. Yeah, I'll do that. Since I already got them cut, I might as well use them. Dragged that a little bit and got some extra glue down here that I don't need. Okay, there we go. So there's that. Not that one. This is... Uh-oh. Whoop. Messed that up a little bit. Maybe I can cover it up with... Some bling. Now 
Mm, I'll just leave it. It's okay. Anything in the front that needs any? Maybe this fabric pocket? Nah, I don't want to put it on the fabric pocket. Uh, maybe I can turn one into a little tab. Like, if I had two of them. It would kind of be... Mm, I don't really like that. I think, I think it's done. I think I'm calling that done. I added the trims, and I made a mustache Project Life shaker card. It is pretty fun, and the back's all clean because we covered it up with another Project Life card. And a couple things, I don't know if they uh, fell out as I was putting them in or if they're coming out of the shaker, but that's okay if they are. So this is my constructed journal from this whole series, and it is not done, of course, but this is the base from all of the prompts from this these past seven weeks or so. And I want to thank all the wonderful ladies who have hosted this. It has been super fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else's videos now. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!